All right, technically we're still in the middle of winter, but today's sunshine and those near 50 degree temperatures out there have us looking forward to warmer days like it's only five weeks to spring. And then after that, it's summer, relaxing lakeside, enjoying some dinner on the patio, maybe indulging one of Idaho's most delectable and seasonable treats, huckleberries. So how did the huckleberry become the gem state's state fruit? Muddled in a Moscow mule, put in a pie, or pulled from the plant and popped in the mouth in the dead of summer. Huckleberries are so Idaho, literally. You can find them black or thin leaved, but only high in the mountains between 2,000 and 11,000 feet, and only for a few short months between July and August. But Idaho's state fruit is fickle. Don't expect to plant a huckleberry bush and yield a massive crop, at least for a while. They grow slowly, sometimes taking up to 15 years to reach full maturity, which could be why they haven't been grown commercially. But there's another species that loves huckleberries even more than we do, bears. Idaho's bears, it's a main source of nourishment in the summer months. Their well-coordinated and flexible lips make picking huckleberries easy, and they can do it faster than any person can pick with their hands. And thanks to an idea from a group of fourth graders from Bonner County, the huckleberry was officially adopted as Idaho's state fruit by the legislature in 2000. 